Welcome everybody, we're back for another playthrough of Olympia Soiree, Soiree, but in this time we're going to actually get in route. We're going to go with Riku because that is what the writer of the story recommended to go in first. Um, I'm just going to go right off the chapter instead of my save. It shouldn't really change anything, so... Sorry, the Blue Dancer. I was eating. Yes, I've completed the delivery. Congratulations, Hime! To be honest, I'm glad my first delivery was here. At least I know where things are. Next. Daifuku peeked his head out of my bag, and I rubbed it gently while I pondered. As a slight refresher, the end of the common route was Olympia deciding to to, um, ferry letters between above ground and below ground, and, uh, that's where we branch off in two routes. I should look for my husband now, right? Right! But before that, I should probably go to Yomi again, don't you think? I mean, there could be more letters waiting for me. It's just that I want to make sure I do the best job I can on my first day. I returned to Shikinjo and slowly opened the letterbox with anticipation. Ah, look, Daifuku, another letter. This time it's to the Blue District. How wonderful. We should get going. It's been about a week since I've been to the Blue. I hope I don't run into Elder Sister. Oh? I noticed something strange as soon as I arrived. No one's around. Is that normal here? There wasn't a single person in sight. Both the streets and houses seemed to be empty. Daifuku, something must be very wrong. I opened my bag to let Daifuku peek out. Peek out. He popped his tiny head out and looked around. Unusual. Has something happened? The Red Calamity came to mind. But that can't be. If something like that happened, there would at least be some sort of commotion. I continued on, cautiously observing my surroundings with a growing anxiety. Suddenly... Hmm? Is that music? I heard a solemn melody coming from up ahead. People! Thank goodness! I saw a crowd gathered around a house nearby. It seemed a ceremony was being held there. I tiptoed into the crowd to get a closer look. I mean, he's all maked up. He's all pretty. Daifuku, look! Is this some kind of ritual? A beautiful dancer in elaborate attire was waving his fan toward the heavens. The adornments he wore shone brilliantly under the sun, reflecting a dazzling light. How oh, beautiful. I never knew there was a dancer like this on the island. I couldn't see his expression too well from where I stood, but his graceful, dignified movements were so captivating that I couldn't take my eyes off of him. Oh? I noticed there was a platform next to the dancer with someone lying upon it. Huh? A dead body? A dead body? I hurriedly covered my mouth. He... With a katana in hand, the dancer drew closer to the corpse, with his arm extended. He can use Batsu. Well, yeah, he's of the blue. As I leaned forward, I suddenly noticed the stares of those around me. Have you been found out, Byakia? Looking closely, I realized everyone around me possessed only blue color traits. You're in the blue district, of course! Those who noticed my presence quickly looked away with a trace of confusion in their eyes. Am I watching something that I shouldn't? 
Unable to bear the murmurs, I quickly turned around to leave. When... So, no set to no yo, no or Ampia? I sure. You caught me. As I'm eating, slowly, I turn toward the familiar voice. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Well, I started a delivery service between Yomi and the surface, so... I carefully brought out the envelope from my bag. I don't trust you to do that. Oh, um, thank you very much. Elder sister passed the envelope to her maid and gracefully waved her fan. Thank you very much. I tried to force the best smile I could manage. Tamagome ritual, a dance ritual used to send off the departed using Batsu. It has been performed by the leader of the blue for generations. Uh, you're the leader of the blue, but I didn't see you dance. Ma'am, what's up with that? Mama Gome. So, so that's what Tamagome looks like. I heard about the ceremony from my teacher. Oh. I'm very sorry. I didn't intend to barge in on anything. Um, the dance was so wonderful. I really am sorry for intruding upon the ritual without permission. But for some reason, I just couldn't look away from the dancer. I can't help but admire such a magnificent dance. I'm sure that a dancer as skilled as he is will bring peace to those who have passed away. I wasn't just saying it to flatter elder sister. I was sincerely so moved by the dance that I would love to see it again if I could. Elder sister's eyes narrowed with satisfaction. So, Yes, I see what you mean. I nodded in agreement. Yeah, okay. I felt a deep respect for the dancer I just saw. Are you one of those people that just, like, only cares about one singular thing and you keep pushing it on someone even if, like, that person's trying their best but it ends up getting annoying because that's the only main topic you end up talking about with them whenever you see them, just like an old relative or something, ma'am? <laughs> no, not at all. No. I'm very sorry, but I really haven't found anyone yet. Mm, yes. I almost gave my response through gritted teeth. My heart felt bitter for some reason. Dear children, I sat on the bench at the plaza with Daifuku on my knee, absent-mindedly watching passers-by. I know it's my role, which is why I'm trying to find a husband. Daifuku, what do you think makes a good husband? Someone who is kind and earnest, and who will love you with all their heart, Hime. It's a plus if they have big titties, too. I was told by someone here before that I should find a husband from the purer color classes in the upper tiers. Mm 
原式もしくは特式の20歳以上の未婚男性で心身ともに健康なものを集めてもらうその中から選べばよろしいのではですから、候補の過去何代かを遡り、最も性を多く生んだ家の女性をめとる式だです。That soldier wouldn't think too deeply over something like this. I'm a bit envious. I breathed a huge, huge sigh and suddenly remembered. Wait a, wait a minute. If I don't find my soulmate, the Iron Mass is going to become my husband. Is it really that so bad? This is no time to sit around and think. Oh, come on. I lifted my head to get moving when I noticed someone looking at me from nearby. Ah, <laughs> Damn, dude. There's no time to be gloomy. I still have a long way to go. Another heavy sigh escaped me. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I just checked the box again, so I think I'm done for the day. クロバが食事に来てるよ。君が無事に戻るか心配していたから、挨拶に寄ったら。Thank you. I'll do that. I'm back. おお、よかった。五体満足で帰ってきたな。Sort of unnerving. The island isn't that dangerous, is it? あんたが。ハクのオランピアが狙われるかもってことだよ。念のため用心しとけ。You're right. I'll keep that in mind. I remembered the man who grabbed me at the wharf not long ago. I had almost forgotten about that incident until now. それで、今日はどうだったまた何か楽しいことでも思いついた ?You won't believe what I saw. I was at the Blue District and it was just incredible. I just happened to come across the middle of their Tamagome ritual, and the dancer was simply beautiful. I wish I knew who it was. What is it? They couldn't get too close with the crowd. I mean, he was such a good dancer that I wouldn't mind becoming his apprentice. I can't help myself. Remembering the dance now is making my heart race. <laughs> no, not at all. If I ever had a chance to meet him, I'm sure I would worship him like I do Lady Amaterasu. <laughs> Irony. Hmm. <laughs> What's interesting is that his dance looked a little like mine. If only I had a chance to introduce myself. Even if I don't become his apprentice, I'd love to talk to him about dancing. <clears throat> Say, would either of you know who he is? <laughs> really? You think so? Maybe I can find him at the plaza. Hiroba, 
Uh-huh. Um, think on it. Think about it. Reminds me of anyone. Yeah, think a little bit more about it. Oh, you know what? I can't actually say I remembered. Because, which I understand, Byakuya would immediately reject the idea of wanting to get closer to Riku. So, I have to say, I don't think so. That is the wrong button. Oh shit, which one is the right... Okay, it's the one with the little symbol on it. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Here, let me just take a bite of my sandwich really quick. これからを楽しみにしているといいよ。君が会いたいと願うなら、きっと会える。You you think? Have you seen the shrine gate, dear brother? Yes, it's magnificent. I do like living here in Yomi, but I wish I had a chance to see the gate. Why don't you ask Lord Sukiyomi for permission to go up to the surface with Lady Camellia? I suppose. Perhaps I shall ask once the gate is complete. Will this gate ever be complete? Maybe it will be in this route, since they're both above ground and they're dancers and they, uh... I'm, a, I'm going to say we're not going to get too far into to the overall, overall plot for this route, because it is the, the starting one, but... Daifuku, was the dance we saw back at the blue something like this? I tried to mimic the dance I saw earlier in the day. Very good, Hime! He held the katana like this, I think. I tried to remember each movement down to the last detail. I never expected the Tamagome ritual to be so lovely and graceful. And the sight of Batsu didn't scare me. It really was used to bring peace to the dead. I feared the power inside me that destroyed Doma's hand. I vowed never to use it again, and to keep it a secret from everyone. But when it's used properly, it can send off the dead like that. His words suddenly came to mind. Daifuku, I definitely want to meet that dancer, and if possible, I want to learn more about his dance. Kuroba and the others made it sound like I'd see him soon, but I can't wait. Maybe I can see him if I go to the Blue District again, but maybe it would be rude to go there without a good reason. I wonder if there's anyone from the Blue who can introduce me. Hmm, I doubt that soldier wants anything to do with me or anyone else. Maybe I should ask Akaza, since he seems to know his way around the island. I'm sure I can refine my dance even further. I have to admit, I didn't expect to see anyone else on this island who dances as part of a ritual. From the looks of it, he didn't seem very old. If I can't be his apprentice, then maybe we can be friends. <laughs> as I gazed out at Tenyo Island floating in the distant darkness, I felt my heart swell with anticipation. Anticipation. A certain love. Oh, that was a quick switch to the next chapter. Hmm. Sun Goddess, Lady Amaterasu. Thank you for this blessed sunlight. As a descendant of the Tenyo Island White, I pledge my eternal devotion to you. I gave my usual player prayer, looking out at the island. <clears throat> it's such a nice day today. So nice that I'm sure I'll get to meet that dancer. The sun's in a good state, so I should be able to do what I want today. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. 
The ocean changed its expression throughout the day, each moment showing a different beauty. Among them, the morning ocean was my favorite. Glimmers of light danced upon the waves from the bright sun shining down from the skies. I felt power surging through my body from the mere sight of the beautiful sea and sunlight. Good morning, Chigaya. I would love to. Higaya expertly arranged the dishes on the table, then looked at me as if something had dawned upon her. Not much, to be honest. Do you have any suggestions for where I should go? No Falls, a waterfall found in the mountains of Tengu Island, where the unwanted show from Yomi were long discarded. The riverbed is adorned with countless show of varying colors. Oh, that is kind of sad. You just abandoned... <laughs> oh. I didn't know there were waterfalls on this island. What? All I could do was look at her, at a complete loss for words. Her smile was bright and gentle. I breathed a sigh of relief. Well, then maybe I can go there today. Could you tell me where it is? Thank you. I can't wait to see it. I want to go and see the falls, but I want to deliver letters, too. I hope there are plenty of letters to deliver today. I happily made my way to Kunado. Hello, sir. He's on guard again today. Good day. Here, my permit. Don't be such an, in such a bad mood. I'll try my best not to bother you. So is he bothered by what Kuroba said to him before? <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I don't want to suddenly end the delivery service I just started. I'll be careful, I promise. I won't do anything dangerous, so please, let me continue. <laughs> I won't. See you. You'll just come protect me, right, Riku? It's fine. Mm. Ah, Masuhana, the letter made it safely to the surface. That's what I'm hoping for, so I'm heading to the bathhouse now to check. Masuhana. I was so overcome with emotion that I felt a burning sensation at the back of my eyes. It's called wanting to cry, honey. Thank you. Thank you. 
Of course, you can count on me. I hope you will let your friends know that she can write again anytime. Ah, another letter from Kaina to Kanan. Kanan hasn't written in a response yet, but I guess Kaina couldn't wait. I put the envelope inside my bag. Oh wait, okay, hang on. It's only been maybe two days. But that guy does do write he does write articles for a living, so yeah, I think maybe something's up with that. Before I started my deliveries, I always wished I had someone to talk to. Talking to someone meant getting to know that person in some way. I know I shouldn't get myself involved between Kaina and Kanan, but I couldn't help but wonder if there was anything I could do. There I go again. It's not a good idea to meddle in others' affairs. There are plenty of things that need to be done first, like dancing for the sun, finding a husband, and completing my deliveries. Well, I'd better get going and deliver this to Kanan. Okay, I'm gonna make... Oh, hi, Riku. I'm gonna make a quick guess that they're gonna be prominent in this route. Kanan's gonna be the bad guy, Kaina's not, but it's somehow going to get flipped onto him just because he's in Yomi. As I exited Yomotsu Hirasaka, I saw Riku standing in the same place as before. Great to see you! I'm back. Yes, I have. Uh, what timing? I don't think Kaina is a bad person, but he's still labeled a criminal by the military. I've only just delivered his first letter, too. I felt a tiny bit of anxiety inside me. It's from Kaina to Kanan at Ebisuro. Hazushi. A label given to those who break the law and engage in physical relations with those of an unapproved tier. It is a cardinal sin on Tengu Island that results in the arrest of both parties and execution in most cases. Hazushi? I repeated the unfamiliar word. I gave a slight frown. That's right. Um... Well, first off, Akaza does inspect my letters, but you already seem really annoyed at the fact Akaza's letting me do whatever I want. You're just being too suspicious, sir. I think you're being too suspicious. And I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich. This isn't going to end, is it? I quietly gave a sigh. In any case, I will continue my deliveries. I don't think either of us has the right to tamper with others' correspondence. <laughs> As I frowned at him, I suddenly recalled the Tamagome from yesterday. Come to think of it, Elder Sister seemed very proud when I praised that dancer. Not that I want to flatter him, but I want to make sure he doesn't bother me so much. Maybe he'll be happy too if I praise the blue a little. And maybe he knows who that dancer is. Oh, that's right. I saw a Tamagome ritual at the Blue yesterday. It was truly breathtaking. <gasps> <laughs> There's the soon! I took a step back in surprise as his reaction was far more intense than I expected. Uh, is it that surprising to you? Elder Sister did forgive me for watching. <laughs> I was making a delivery. Uh, did you say something? 
Uh, anyway, the dancer was simply incredible. I couldn't take my eyes off him. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> embarrassed cutie. I never knew there was such a person on this island. He made me regret not leaving the manor sooner. It was the first time I saw the Tamagome ritual, but I never knew it would be so solemn and beautiful. I know it's terribly inappropriate to say, but I hope I can see the dance again someday. And that's how mesmerizing it was. <sighs> He's gonna literally explode on the spot, Olympia. <laughs> oh, and I'm not sure if you're the right person to ask, but I do have a favor. What? Since you yourself are of the blue, could you tell me the name of that dancer? <gasps> Balls in your court, Riku, what are you gonna say? Please, it's something I think could even improve my own dance on stage. Oh, not him. Yes, I would love to talk to him and learn a thing or two. And if possible, ask if he can take me on as his apprentice. Keiko. Maybe that's too much, but I'd still like to meet him. Muri desne. Muri? Tamagome wa. That's very that's a very strict answer, Riku. <laughs> not not out of character, but damn. Oh. Of course I'm disappointed. I finally found another dancer I can relate to. There was no way I could become a member of the Blue. I suppose that was how sacred and secretive the ritual was. I was really happy to finally find another dancer like me, because I never thought I would. I wanted to meet him so I could learn more about dancing. But I understand. So, so no no, I was a little too far away. So, so I'm sorry for being so pushy about it. Well, I'll be going then. Uh, yeah. I bowed to him, then went on my way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> カナンへの手紙は前回のものとほぼ同じ内容ですね。I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Taking the letter into my hand, I suddenly remembered. In front of me was the very person who managed all the information on this island. Oh. Smart move. Is he going to tell you, though? Which meant... <laughs> Mr. Director, may I ask you something? Even though I'm asking, I won't force you to answer. It may be a closely guarded secret. I'm just hoping it's something that can be shared. I asked Riku of the Blue, but he said I'd need to have been born into the Blue to know. Do you know the name of the dancer of the Blues Tamagome ritual? Oh, oh. He definitely does. <laughs> oh, uh, you dropped your papers. Here you go. I handed the couple sheets that had fallen back to Akaza, who was unusually still. <laughs> To be blunt, I want to be friends with him. Is that surprising? We're both ceremonial dancers. I think I can learn more if I'm able to train with him. Like I said, I asked Riku, but he wouldn't tell me who the dancer was. But I can't give up so easily, which is why I thought you might know something as the Kotowari's director. Is he gonna tell her? I mean, it would be against Riku's wishes. 
本人の了承を得ずに明かすことは難しいですね。Figured. I thought that might be the case. ですが、相手として精進したいというあなたの心意気を買って、一つ助言しましょう。ここはやはり、聖であるリクの信頼を勝ち取るべきなのでは。Really? You think? Well, I'll give it a try then. Thank you for the advice. I'll be going to Ebisuro now. <laughs> Akas is totally going to teach Riku about this later. Anika, go me, Wako, Kate, Rio, de, Moshi, Waki, Ari, Masen. Hm. Han and Grim grimaced as I handed him the letter. No need to be sorry. I've actually started a delivery service since the last letter I brought you. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm doing it because I want to. Is there a problem? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Everyone's been telling me that recently. Hanan's eyes narrowed happily for some reason. Okay, okay. Really? I'd be more than happy to. And I'm sure Kaina would be happy too. Thank you. I'll be here. Thank you again. Thank goodness. I walked to the plaza with joy in my heart. I didn't know what kind of reply he would write, but by tomorrow, Kaina would have the reply he was waiting for. I can't wait until tomorrow. It was then that I noticed a fiacre nearby. That's right, the waterfall Chigaya mentioned. Unable to hold back the urge, I called out to the rusting coachman. Hello there, can I employ you to drive me to Show Falls? これはこれはオランピア様滝近くまででしたら大丈夫なのですが山の中なので馬車が道を通れないんですよ5分ばかし歩いていただくことになりますがそれでもよろしければ That's alright Please take me there Show falls. It is kind of pretty. I pushed aside the overgrown leaves in my path. The sight in front of me was breathtaking. It's so beautiful, just like Chigaya said. I couldn't bring myself to move from the spot. The sunken show beneath the water uh, scintillated in a kaleidoscope of light. It was as though the water contained a collection of iridescent rainbows. I never knew such a gorgeous place existed. I didn't know whether to be happy or sad. I was ashamed of myself for having been cooped up in the manor all this time, not even bothering to look at or learn about this island. I think I like this place even more than the Shrine Gate. I didn't sense a single soul around. The shoal were sleeping quietly underwater. It's so nice and quiet here. I think this will be my new favorite. Who's there? I quickly turned around at the sound of people behind me. Uh, the couple quickly prostrated themselves before me. Seeing that they meant no harm, I tried to ease the tension with a smile. I am sorry if I surprised you two. Please stand. I thought for a moment that I was about to be kidnapped. Wait just a moment. I'm not upset at all, so please don't be frightened. What? Guys, she's too innocent to know that y'all were congratulating whatever the word is uh, over here by yourselves but okay i looked more closely at them 
The man had brown and gray hair, the woman had red hair, much like Akaza's. Wait, that means... Despite the fear on their faces, they each were standing as if to protect the other. It was clear to me that they were more than friends. I understand. I didn't see anything here today. I didn't see anything or anyone at all. I know it's hard to believe since we don't know each other, but I won't tell a soul, not even the Kotawari or the military. They stood there dumbfounded, as if looking at something they couldn't believe. Trust me, I swear on Lady Amaterasu's name, I will keep your secret. How can I make them believe me? The two of them were probably committing the greatest of crimes on this island. A crime punishable by death. I don't really like the word Hazushi. I could hear them mumbling to each other. You both know better than I do that this is forbidden. You will be in danger if I don't keep your secret. So this But you can rest assured that I have no intention of telling anyone about you. They were looking at me again in disbelief. I truly will not say anything, I promise. Um, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. I should be going now, so please stay safe. I bowed and prepared to take my leave when... No need to repay me, but if you see me in town, feel free to say hello. Aww. Neither of them said a word in response. Although I wanted to talk to them more, I, I suppressed the urge and left the area as quickly as I could. Daifuku, I saw a beautiful waterfall today. I'll take you there tomorrow. Kikiki, is that so? I can't wait. But I met a couple there. Kiki? A couple, you say? The two had widely different color traits. If they're discovered, I'm sure something terrible will happen. I didn't want to say they were committing a crime. I understood how the color class system worked on this island, but that didn't mean I believed in it. I couldn't tell them directly, but I do hope they find happiness together. Who made this stupid system in the first place anyway? I hate him, even if it is Lord Hiruko. I glared at the Amano Misaha Mihashira floating against the darkness of the sky. The shrine gate was under construction day and night. The area glowed brightly from the light beneath. I really hope those two won't be caught by the military. Chapter 3 already. Daifuku and the hamburger. Hmm, hamburgers. I'm just a little hungry. Daifuku, remember what I said yesterday. Let's go out together today. And if there's time, I can take you to the waterfall. Another day with Hime? I'm overjoyed. But first, we need to go to Ebisuro. I have to pick up Kanan's letter. Huh? What did you just say? Damn it, Kanan, I thought you were gonna do this. Hang on one second. Wait a minute, what kind of reply is that? I waited outside of Ebisuro so that I could arrive exactly on time, but what awaited me was true ruthlessness. I... I already told you that isn't a problem. I started this delivery service because... I felt my body grow tense. 
I don't have the right to do that. あずしはこの島で最も近畿とされていますからそれは当然のことです。医療院に弔いの日があるのですが、兄はそこにたった一度でも花を備えたいと思う。つまり、どうにかして読みから連れ出してほしいと。ですが、それは無理です。血を分け
I could only imagine how she was feeling, but... Tears welled up in her crimson eyes. Frustration stung at my heart. Was a world that would make her say such a thing truly in the right? I don't mind at all, but please don't think of dying. I gently embraced her trembling body. I'll think of something, so don't give up hope. I won't be able to bring about a revolution, but maybe I can ask someone I know to help you escape to Tenyo Island. It's an idea that just came to me, so I'm not sure if it's a realistic option, but don't give up just yet. Satsuki blinked repeat repeatedly with a surprised look on her face. I expect everyone to say something like this the more they learn about me. I recently decided to make more of an effort to speak with everyone. The tears Satsuki held back finally rolled down her cheeks. I looked around to see if anyone was nearby before holding her by the shoulders. Just make sure the military doesn't find you two. I'm sorry, but that's about all I can say for now. I hope you know you can talk to me anytime. Satsuki bowed deeply and wiped her tears away. Take care. I watched her until she was out of sight, then walked down to the wharf. Moving. Oh, okay. We're back with Akaza. Okay, one, one second. I want to open a snack sack. Now I'm good. I see. I had Akaza inspect the letter with a sliver of hope in my heart, but what I got was the cold hard truth. あの時から花を備えたいと書いてありましたから何を願い書くかは自由ですただ叶うかは別の問題だうーんあの choice here is to ask Lord Hiruko Ah, wrong button. What if we ask Lord Hiriko? Because Riku likes to play by the rules. Hiriko I don't have a relationship Well, is there a way we can see Lord Hiriko? Lord Hiriko oversees Tengu Island, right? It would be faster if we spoke to him. I'm not so sure about that. I doubt Doma would be willing to listen to my request. I wonder if Doma really is the only person who can open those blinds to Kakurinomia. Oh, you don't need to bend over backwards to defend my choices. In that moment, my mind seemed to go blank. You have to protect me from things like that, too? I, he doesn't have to, but he wants to. He wants to, he wants to. What a predicament. I was aware he had already helped me in various ways. 
If I did something extreme, it would only make it difficult to ask for his help if I got into trouble. Fine, I won't act on my idea of going to Ishana then. I'll first go and deliver this letter to Kaina. That's about all I can do anyway. His expression didn't change one bit, but there was definitely a hint of concern for Kaina in the tone of his voice. That alone seemed to ease the burden I was feeling. He likes you. Ah. I let out a big sigh the moment I sat on my usual bench at the plaza. Things haven't gone my way, have they, Daifuku? Kiki. Things do not always go as planned, but I am here for you. Uh, even though I might have totally forgot that you were there, I'm sorry, Daifuku. Uh, yeah. I understand what Akaza said, but I still feel like it would be best to just speak to Lord Hiruko. But trespassing isn't a good idea, and I doubt I can open those blinds myself. I rubbed Daifuku's head as he stood on my knee and recalled what Satsuki said. I somehow convinced her otherwise, but somewhere inside me I was envious of what she said. I had never thought of anything like that before. After all, I had never loved anyone so deeply. All I can do now is sit here in the plaza and sigh. I fell deep into thought. I wonder how my soulmate would show his love for me. How could I show my love to him? I know someone on this island will become my husband, but who? Maybe it would be that person over there, or pa perhaps the one over here. Nezumi? Excuse me? As I sat and observed the people passing by, I heard a sudden voice. Oh, this is a I Good day. Do you also have a pet mouse like mine? No, I haven't caught a one Oh, are you perhaps? I'd love some. It looks like Daifuku was dancing on my knee. Daifuku, mind your manners. Sora, otabe. I'm so sorry. As his owner, seeing him lunge towards the Karinto made me blush with embarrassment. Maybe it's because of Daifuku. It doesn't seem like this man is scared of me. As I savored the small joy budding within me. Huh? Kiki! Kiki! Yes, perhaps my grandfather or my great grandfather. ここの方に似合いの良い婿殿を探してやるのだぞ。うん。いき。Maybe to me. Oh, uh, did you just say? May the sun be with you, Lord Fuso. I wondered whether I should go after him or not. First. It's fine. I actually wanted to speak with you anyway. Stop joking around. It's about the letter to Kaina. Before I go any further, it's not like I'm trying to defend Kaina's wish. All I want is for you to give it some time and thought. Well, I suppose. Well, I suppose. 
ルート探しはどうなりました Hey, she has an entire year. It's not gonna take her an entire year to settle your family matters, is it? I instinctively turned my face away. Mm. His fingers touched my chin and then. Hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what? You. He had suddenly whispered in my ear, and I leapt up from the bench at once. Stop joking around. I'll never forgive you if you publish that. Hey, I don't need you to get on my case right now either, ma'am. Oh, Riku? This isn't my day at all. This is my day at all. Okay, kiss ass. Oh, okay. I kept my head down, as I had no intention of including myself in their conversation. リクードの初陰を卒業して以来なかなかゆっくりお話しする機会がありませんねそうだなだが息災のようで何よりだリクードの時期性の多さとなられる方私たちの手で天狗党の未来をより良いものにいたしましょうこれからも末永く末永くお
I'm not interested in that. Nine foot long U-Haul van with just the squish. Yeesh. Did you extra squish the squish in to squish in more squishes? I won't tell you. Well, I still haven't decided who will be my husband yet. You're free to write that since it's the truth. I glared at Conan and quickly left the plaza. Man. Things may not go my way, but just complaining won't make things any better. I talked to Daifuku as I took a stroll along the shore. Not that Daifuku could speak, of course. To outsiders, it would seem as though I was only talking to myself. That might be a turnoff for some people, and I know you're supposed to be looking for a husband. But with what just happened, I guess that's kind of warranted. After vac dealing? Jesus. So how many trips have you made? What Conan said does make sense. My priority is to look for a husband. But there's no way I could just ignore someone saying she would drown herself in the ocean, right? No troubling. I also wouldn't mind trying to talk to Lord Hiruko, but if I had to choose one thing to do... I would look for that dancer from the blue. I see you really are determined to meet him, Hime. I must do something about it. Daifuku stared at me intently from inside my bag. You know, I wanted to take you to the falls, but I'm not in the mood to go there anymore. Well, I guess I should at least deliver the letter to Kaina down in Yomi. Indeed, let's get going. Wait, this wonderful smell! In the blink of an eye, Daifuku jumped out of my bag. Is this the hamburger that was supposed to be a part of the title of this chapter? <laughs> Daifuku, what is it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be right back. Daifuku's plumped white body bounced off and sped away. Wait, come back. You want to go to Yomi? Kunado is that way. Daifuku, wait. I tried my best to run after him, but Daifuku was already nowhere to be found. That's amazing considering how plump he is. <laughs> he ran away. Did I do something? With everything that had happened today, I felt my strength leaving me. Daifuku, where did you run off to? I looked around aimlessly, but his plump little body was nowhere in sight. Daifuku, where are you? You got lost before, remember? If I don't find you soon. I listened to the sound of the waves as I dragged my feet along. <laughs> oh. Huh? That voice, could it be? I slowly peeked around the corner to discover something I didn't expect. しかし、お前はよく食べるな。そのように丸々と太って。毛づやもいい。人懐っこく愛嬌もある。この近くで飼われているのか。Taifuku, mm -hmm. what in the world are you? He was happily stuffing his face full of something he got from Riku. Is that a hamburger? I've never had one before. 本当に人に怯えないな。no, it's just that he's a glutton. Of course. It looked like Daifuku was nodding. I've never seen Riku smile like that before. He looks so gentle, too. Maybe I should thank him. But I feel like he's going to be disappointed when he finds out that I'm the owner. From behind a wall, I silently kept my eyes on the man and the mouse. 
改めて考えるとネズミにハンバーガーなど食べさせても大丈夫だったのだろうか Don't worry, he can eat anything. He's never had a stomach ache before. So, now, my son, you have to eat it. Monday night. Don't worry, I can eat anything that people eat. Almost, you know, I'm not sure. 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 But I'm sure he's only going to frown once he catches sight of me. In that case, maybe I should leave. Then again, I wanted to keep looking at that gentle smile he never showed to me. Huh? Wait a minute. What was I just thinking? No, no, you don't need to do that. No, no, I'm quite full now. I'll be fine. Thank you very much for the wonderful meal. I will never forget your kindness. Understood. May the sun bless you. Daifuku waved to him. Riku's really nice. But not to me. Ah, oh, Hime! Daifuku dashed towards me upon noticing my presence. I'm sorry, I just couldn't fight the aroma. You're such a glutton. You jumped on the Carinto earlier, too. No snacks for you for one week. <coughs> I brought Daifuku into my bag, then rubbed his head. I'm just kidding. I'm going to reward you with a special treat, courtesy of the bathhouse. Sukuyomi. Oh, yeah. Ito Shigoyo. Nanika yo, okay? I wanted to ask you something, but I hope I'm not bothering you. Omae wa son na tsumara nai koto o kini shi na kute mo ii. Itsu de mo enryo sezu oide. I came here after giving Daifuku some sweets and asking Camellia to look after him. All because of a special request. それで、僕に尋ねたいこととは何だい ?Sukuyomi, have you ever spoken to Lord Hiruko before? There was a slight pause. So slight that I most wouldn't even notice. I wasn't ready to celebrate just yet. I could tell there was something else behind his simple reply. I asked Sukuyomi with the assumption that the outsiders knew each other, but. I'm not sure if I made the right decision or not. Does Lord Hiruko really reside in Kakurinomia? I'd like to ask Lord Hiruko a favor. Do you know about the Hazushi, those who fall in love with people outside of their color class? It's horrible that they would be executed over that, which is why I wanted to talk to Lord Hiruko, given his position on the island. Hiruko is not. Sukiyomi, are you friends with Lord Hiruko? Isn't there a way you can bring me to him? I couldn't hide my disappointment. If they were friends, his response meant that the odds of my meeting him were close to none. Honey, his response to you asking if they were friends, he didn't actually really say yes. Can I ask you something else? Is there a giant whirlpool beyond the ocean? Isn't there? Is there any way to get through? I was taught that there was a giant whirlpool at the edge of the world. I was taught that by the very person in front of me. 
a whirlpool much larger than those around Tenyo Island, which no mortal could pass. Thank you, that's all I wanted to ask. I didn't have it in me to keep questioning him, as I prepared to leave. Huh? My body froze at the sight of a hideous portrait. It seemed to be a woman. He had long and dark snake-like hair and sunken eyes that stared horrifically at me. What was most frightening was her body. Her flesh was rotten with much of it missing and maggots squirmed about, revealing white bones. Yet the Magatama beads adorning her neck were shining eerily as if they had just been polished. Tsukuyomi, what is this portrait that you have here? Rotted? Did she die from Haku? Sounds like Izanami. Did you paint Izanami? Ah. Mm. I looked away for a moment. The fear instilled in me by the portrait was preventing me from moving at all. I didn't know Haku could lead to such horrible results. Did you draw this, Tsukuyomi? Ah. Why? I see. My mind began to paint an image. An image of my body rotting away, like in the portrait. Um, Sukuyomi, I understand Haku is dangerous, but isn't there some kind of cure for it? Tenyo Island didn't have Haku, right? Tenyo Toto Konoshima Chikakute Toi Kankyo Gachigaeva Hayaru Yamai no Kawaru Monodayo. I do hope someone finds a cure for it. So that Bokumo. A disease that can't be cured fairly, even with medicine. I didn't want to look at the portrait, but for some reason, I couldn't help myself. It really is a serious and deadly disease. I closed my eyes tightly in the hopes that I could clear my mind of the portrait and the idea of rotting myself. Well, I'd better go back up for now. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. Daifuku, you've had your feel of tasty treats, haven't you? Daifuku, Castella, rice crackers. We can go to the falls next time. I patted Daifuku's head inside my bag as we headed back towards Yomotsu Hirasaka when... What? A number of men came trickling out of the dormitory. I see Kaina. He was lined up in a row with the others, but I was too afraid to approach him. The row made its way up the slope as I stood, watching them go by. Where are they going? I thought no one could leave here. As I looked down at them, someone tugged on my robe. Hmm. Ah, Himuka. I was about to deliver a letter to the dormitory, but they seemed to be heading to the surface. Um, are you telling me they've been selected to be Batsu'd? Is that what's going on? Huh? The gate? You mean the one for Lord Hiruko? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so they're not being botsued. I see. Okay. I recalled the conversation I had when I first met Kaina. So he was referring to laboring on the surface. My eyes followed their backs as they walked up the slope. 
Now all those workers building the shrine gate, day in and day out, were criminals. I suppose it's still marginally better than being executed. After all, you can't do anything once you're dead. Say, Himuka, have you met Lord Hiruko before? I asked him for no particular reason, mostly out of a vague curiosity, but also to somehow avert my attention from the growing despair inside me. Huh? Which is why I gave a strange cry hearing his unexpected reply. Where? At Kakurinomia? Are there rules about meeting him? I do. Well, I can't explain it in detail, but I wanted to ask for the executions to stop. What in the world was I saying? He was almost a stranger, a boy I only knew by name. One I didn't know if I could trust. Even so, I felt my heart open up to him after looking at his eyes. His beautiful silver eyes, which held a mysterious light within them. Uh, what? Another strange cry escaped me. Uh, well, I suppose maybe? I looked around for a moment. Wasn't he scared of denouncing Lord Hiruko out in the open like this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Suddenly felt as though I could cry. Maybe it was the color of his hair and eyes. His silvery hair that reminded me of my own made me feel that everyone who lived on Tenyo Island was cheering me on. A beautiful sound resounded from the show in his lantern. Himuka smiled happily, quietly turned on his heel, and left. He's gone? Really, what a mysterious child. He was encouraging me just now, right? With the row of laborers gone, Yomotsu Hirasaka stood empty in the silent darkness, building the shrine gate to pay for their sins. The image of the giant shrine gate shimmered deep in my eyes. I continued on to the dormitory to leave the letter for Kaina there. The dancer revealed! Hey, Let's go! Glad that that is not the finale esque part of his route. If this is if this chapter title is to be trusted. Hi, Kuroba. Kuroba -sama to uh, Okoto Waru. Does this mean Akaza is out? I have two, both going to the yellow. Roba hummed to himself while reading the letters. As I watched him, I couldn't help myself from asking him a question. Um, would it really be difficult to reconsider the Hazushi penalty? Oh, well, that's rude. It's because of, um, Kaina. I'm sorry to bring up your name, Kaina, but I promise not to tell anyone about Satsuki and Yogi. I heard about that. Let me ask you another question. Is execution unavoidable if someone is deemed a Hazushi? But how is the crime determined? For example, you could have people walking together who are just friends. Ah, Sorewa. Sorewa? Kuroba gave me a meaningful look. Uh, what is it? 
肉体関係を持ったという証拠が出たら連行していいことになった。Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, you said that before. 目があった。話した。手をつないだくらいではどうこうできない。ただ、外しのほとんどは、陳情という名の密告なんだ。Oh. Crime Stoppers. Crime Prevention Report. Information given to the military detailing suspicion of a crime. It is most often used to report residents suspected of having an illegal relationship. Those who report wrongdoings leading to a capture are awarded a hundred thousand yen. Ah! Well, that's why. Greedy people. Secretly reported. Wait, that means. Uh-huh. I almost glared at Kuroba but stopped myself. He hadn't done anything wrong. All he did was give me another piece of information about this island. So, Naruto, Gun no Stapakara, and Harare Kotoni. Hitosan, and Kutari, and Hai. なんてことがあろうものならすぐさま連行だなヒルコ様に誓って私はヨギとまだ体の関係を持ってはおりません外しってのは色相を破るつまりこの島の最大の禁忌なわけだ通常の犯罪は言葉りも尋問に参加できるが外しだけは軍のみの権限で処刑可能なんだ Oh, that means you guys can't do anything about it. Really. Sucks. Ah. Due to the severity of Hazushi crimes, they are given the right to arrest and execute suspected Hazushi without submitting to the formal interrogation process by the Kotowari. That is some shit. Akaza mo ore mo, soko ga kimi ira nai nda ga. Gun wa senmin shiki no tsuyo i yatsu bakari de dame da. Really? The only person in the military that I had spoken with was Riku of the Blue. My mind lingered on the thought. Yeah. うん。うちは赤座が所長になったと変わった。才能のあるものならどの色相でも採用してどんな役職にもつけることになった。忍徳書院を優秀な成績で卒業して軍に入隊するのがこの島の男の名誉だった。今まではな。Okay。Military is proudly composed of mainly primary and secondary color classes. They are highly discriminatory of toward all other classes. Wow. Who'd have thought? Hmm. While the Ko and Otsu may enlist, they cannot be promoted to the higher ranks. Was. The only school on this island was Nintoku University. Only men were admitted, and among them, only the best and the brightest. So. Ugh. <laughs> どんな式でも平等な権利を得られるんだと誇りを持ってほしい。Roba's eyes were gleaming with the pride he spoke of. The military and the Kotawari. I thought they were similar, but they seem very different now. Thank you for sharing that information with me. There's so much to learn. There's so much to be upset about. Thank you. I'll be going now. I put the envelopes in my bag and headed out. Graduating from the university and joining the military sounds like Riku. I could imagine him with a pile of books and working hard at his studies. Speak of the devil, it's Riku. He was walking down the street with a stern expression. Maybe he's on his way to Kunado from the military headquarters. ここはやはり
聖であるリクーの信頼を勝ち取るべきなのだ優しいものに飼われているのだろう。Hmm. He was smiling and treating Daifuku so well back then, so I'm sure he's a nice person. I'm sure he is. He's just misguided, right? Mr. Soldier! I'm sorry to stop you like this. I wanted to talk to you again about the dancer at the, at the blue. <laughs> He quickly stopped me before I could finish my sentence. I'm not giving up so easily. Please, can you just listen? I think it would benefit the island if I could refine my dancing skills. Please, all I need is his name. I can search for him myself. Well, what can I do to change your mind? Please, I really want to meet him in person. Now, how long have you been here? It's rude to eavesdrop. And that's no way to talk about me. Baka, <laughs> Thanks, Akusa. Dang, I was really hoping we could get Riku to say it. But he is 100% sooning, so uh, not, not, not possible. Uh, huh? Oh, huh? Huh? You're the dancer? I guess his hairstyle does look similar. As I stared at Riku, my body was shaking. Whether from anger or embarrassment, I wasn't sure. So the dancer is really Riku. Akaza and Riku know each other. Are you really the dancer? Uh, wait! Bye. He was obviously not going to listen to me. He quickly boarded a nearby carriage and sped off. <laughs> It was not interesting. How long were you eavesdropping on us? Do you need to mind your manners, Mr. Director? You are not. Sorry. <laughs> He straightened his collar, instantly returning to his iron mask demeanor. Can you explain to me what's going on? It's bad enough that it seems like you knew all this time. Would you care to explain? According to tradition, Shura must perform this ritual, ritual as leader of the blue. However, as she is unable to use Batsu, Riku handles the ceremony in her place. She can't use Batsu? Hmm. しかし大使は罰の力を持たず代わりにリクーが務めているというわけです。リクーが長になるまでは、あくまでも代理という肩書きなので、自らマイケと口にするのは、はばかられるのでしょう。I He 
he's with her so he can learn. I almost forgot. But I'm pretty sure that was just Conan playing with me. I can't imagine someone sharing his hamburger with a mouse being Elder, si elder Sister's lover. But, well, I'm sure lovers are good at sharing, but... Wait, why am I thinking about this? <laughs> バツ graduated from the university? Well, it's not surprising since he is a director. One of the first things my teacher told me was that I couldn't go to school because I was a girl. I'm a punch that teacher for you. So I tried to learn as much as possible. At the manor, all alone. ]あなたにも厳しい態度をとることも多いと思いますが、根は真面目で信頼できる男ですよ。is he really that honest? Could an honest man like him be her lover? My face felt strangely warm. All we were doing was talking about Riku. Still, I'm surprised Riku was the dancer all along. No, of course I won't. His explanation made a lot of sense, but... That's right, I... I have been... I've been praising him, without restraint. I had been praising him to high heaven. All of it was the truth, but just thinking about it made me blush furiously. This is so embarrassing. I want to completely disappear from this world. Maybe I can throw myself into the whirlpools around Tenyo Island. I forgot about the couple. Thank you for sharing that information, Akaza. I'll be heading over to Yomi now. Naroba, were you and Yosuga toying with me? Because it told me everything. He told me that the dancer was Riku. Why you? I knew it. So you like a Nakatan Dakedo. Don't stay the Ika, my old at リクが自分から明かすことはほとんどないと聞いている。それを僕たちが勝手に喋るのもね。やつも別に伏せておけど命じられているわけ I heard he has um, his own reasons, but still. まあまあ、お詫びにリクのことをもっといろいろ教えてあげるから。More about him. Hmm. No, you're not fooling me again. You're not fooling me again. So, Naramo, Karen, Koto, Nanimo Hanasanakti. Well, I guess I can listen if you really want to talk about him. Sate, Deva Nanikara Hanasoka. Oh, Areka. Expensive? You mean as in money? I was speechless and could only stare at Yosuga. Yosuga put a strange emphasis on mostly. I felt as if he was talking about me, and I tried my best to suppress my agitation. Yeah, 
他の者はあれを舞えないし罰の力も今一つ彼に頼んで弔ってもらうことができれば済んだ賞となってヒルコ様の取り入れ美しく輝けるだから上のやつは死んだらリクーに弔ってもらうのが憧れなんだぜお題は他のやつの10倍だって。Wow. Also, I don't know how I feel about. Well, I guess it's akin to a funeral casket, but still, like. It's the weird feeling having to divide a pay to properly have a really good passing? A leftover passing? Hmm. <laughs> バカバカしいな。いや。地上のものの考えることは恐ろしいよね。Uh, but I couldn't join in on their laughter. But I tried to absorb this new information about the island. まあただそういうものすべて彼が自分で決めたことじゃないからね。自分が卵目の巻いてですとは言いにくいんじゃないかな。性の利空の気まじめさはこの読みにも知れ渡ってるからね。うん。Hang on, I'm gonna refer to the guide really quick, but I also wanna see how far we are left. Let's not knock the customs right now. I can understand that. Ma, so na kare wa chisuji yoshi, kao yoshi, mirai yoshi. Omuko san ni do o to iitai tokoro da kedo. Yatsu wa yome ga moraeru toshi ni naru made yonin genkin da kara na. Wait, what? What do you mean? I thought he was going to select a mate from a family with a strong line of blue offspring. 美しく尊い生を守るためだよ。There was a delicate hint of sarcasm in his tone. Understandable. バツの力は生全員に出るわけじゃない。持って生まれるだけでも希少だ。そんな中でも、リクの力は相当強い。トムライアのヒムカほどではないだろうけど、ヒムカは10を数える間で。リクは三十を数えるから。Oh, crap. ちなみに医療院にも常駐しているバツの使い手がいる。彼らや他の波の使い手は一人の魂を勝にするのに一時間は必要。といえばあの二人の凄さがわかるか。That much of a difference. A certain question came to mind. How much time would it take for my power to do that? Want to find out? I don't want to find out. I'd rather not find out. <laughs> no, don't think about it. So many sugoy chikarano mochinistakara. Liku a mo osanai korokara. Jiki say no osani narukotoga kimateta. You any. Sorema de Fujoni mado saresu. Kessai ni hagemi. Shin shin o se cho saseo. I see. <laughs> Soon, boy has to has to practice abstinence, <laughs> which is the avoidance of sexual intercourse, often made with the intention of remaining pure of body and soul. You know, the only thing they teach in the U.S. schools. Impurity? You mean? Hiroko, kinshi ってこと。三十歳まで婚姻を結ばないんだってさ。Thirty? What? Oh, I'm about to ruin this abstinence. Watch me. What? <laughs> There you go again. Perhaps you should be the one abstaining for your own good. He tried to interject, but. He can't marry until he's 30 years old. And he can only choose females with strong blue traits. I felt a rustling deep inside my heart. I had never felt anything like it before. It was an emotion I couldn't seem to describe. I think I'd better get going. 
I stood shakily from my seat to leave as quickly as possible. Oh, girl, you're already in too deep, are you? I finished delivering all the letters today, but I didn't feel like going back to the manor. I didn't want to go to the beach or the falls either. Until 30 years old. He's slightly older than me, right? Why are you thinking that? So that means another 10 years? Are you gonna wait another 10 years? I guess he can't be my husband then. Hmm. What? What am I thinking? Tension hospital. Wait, why are we going to the hospital? Oh? I apparently wandered over to the hospital. Okay. I wonder if this is what he was referring to. What stood in front of me was too simple to be called a monument. The rugged stone had no inscriptions, and there were a few brown wilted flowers strewn at its base. I wasn't expecting the Ama no Mis Mihashira, but... Was this how they treated those who were executed? No one would mind if I bought, brought flowers here next time, right? Unable to take much more of the sight, I decided to leave when... Huh? I stumbled over my shoe and clumsily fell onto the ground. Ouch, I scraped my hand. I should go home and get it cleaned. Hi, purple sir. His sudden appearance surprised me, but even more surprising was his unusual eye. What is wrong with his eye? It was much more than a simple eye patch. It looked like some kind of dangerous device. Uh-huh, um... Oh. これは失礼。申し遅れました。私は生死の作業と申します。この天神医療院の院長を務めております。そのままでは可能する恐れがあります。早く消毒した方がいい。Oh, um, his voice was very calm and gentle. I was sure the expression on his face was gentle too, but I couldn't help but feel tense. Thank you very much. Bakio bowed to me, then walked slowly into the hospital. Hospital. I remember Kuroba teasing me about my health. I'm going to make sure I never need to rely on the hospital. Well, maybe I'll come just to lay some flowers. Okay, but why is the monument to those that get executed at the hospital? Hmm. <laughs> Dime, you've been sighing a lot since your return. Is something wrong? I'm fine, Daifuku. I don't have a stomachache or anything. It's just... I feel really tired for some reason. How unusual for you to say so. I don't understand myself. I really don't know what's wrong with me now. Not to think of it, Hime. I believe I've found someone perfect to be your husband. You didn't treat me poorly, and he was even generous enough to give me food. His name is Riku. Judging by his color traits, I believe he's from the blue. He is surely a good-hearted human. Man, I mean, he sure will bring you happiness, Hime. Uh, say, Daifuku, I heard that Riku can't get married until he's 30, 30 years old. Huh? Something about maintaining his purity. Daifuku suddenly stopped squeaking at me. Which means that he's probably not a good candidate for me. Not that I really like him. No, I'd say I don't like him at all. But he was really kind to you, so I just thought it might be fun spending time with him. But that's all. It would be unflattering to him if that was the only reason I chose him, right? I looked at Tenyo Island floating in the darkness. 
That is um, flashback number two. Two or three. My mother's words suddenly felt empty. When did I stop admiring those words? Daifuku, do you think there really is a soulmate waiting for me out there? Honey. You pose the same questions a lot. The Lunar Fairy Tale. Oh, is there something you need? Dom no, Doma's Chamberlain hurriedly toward her. Excuse me. Doma's Chamberlain hur hurriedly ran toward me just as I was about to leave the manor. Okay. Understood. I'll return before nightfall. Until then. Akaza approached me as I waited for a carriage outside the Yellow District. Good morning to you too. I'm heading there now, and you? I do hope I have letters to inspect today. As we continued to have a casual chat. Uh, uh, a nearby horse pulling a carriage kicked its front legs high in the air. Akaza forcefully pulled me into his arms and turned to cover me with the wall behind my back. Alright, the carriage sped off in a hurry. That's it. That's awkward. I breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you for saving me, but would you mind letting me go? This feels familiar. Yeah, it's the beginning. He's been protecting me like this all along. I just bumped my nose against the wall. I hope there won't be a need to protect me. Oh my god, Riku, no! 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 No, not this! Uh, it was another day not off to a good start. Riku's shoulders were sa shaking as he glared at us. Riku... これは。そ、そんな。先日塔の花壇と広場で仲睦まじく過ごしていたんだぞ。はあ。だが今日は赤さ。お前をそうして牢絡しようとしている。No、wait, you're misunderstanding Don't tell me he actually took that as fact. オランピアとも会おうものが国の男など本気で恋人にするとは思えないが婚姻前にタームレで男と通じたのであればそれはそれで悠々しき問題だ。what? I didn't know where to start. Riku's eyes narrowed coldly as I stuttered. I was at a complete loss. Oof. It felt like hundreds of icicles pierced my heart. And like that, the route has been doubled in length. My fingers grew cold, and my breath caught in my throat. Riku, that's why I'm 
あの天女島で白の女たちに殺された男がいることをあ近づくと一体どのような目に遭うかわからないぞ早く目を覚ませリク彼女を侮辱するな Oh shit He's mad Ox's fucking mad <gasps> So that's how he sees me The back of my eyes grew hot And as the tears stung I began to get choked up uh, uh. Please excuse me I covered my face with my hand and ran away. Oi, mate! Stop! Don't you dare follow me! I don't want to, I don't want to see anyone! If you come after me, I'll have Lady Amaterasu curse you both! What? Was that his way of cheering me up? Unable to say anything more, I quickly boarded a nearby carriage. Well, Akaza is letting on more than he knows. He doesn't like Tsukuyomi. Hmm, okay. Tsukuyomi, are you here? My pitiful voice echoed through his hermitage. Tsukuyomi? The windows and doors were all wide open, and his dyes were left open on his desk. The fire was burning in the hearth, but he was nowhere to be found. I returned to the bathhouse to find Camellia sweeping the floors. ないてましたなりかありましたかもし奈落に姿がなかったのでしたら散歩かもしれないです最近天女島に行くときは僕やヨスガ様に一言かけてから行くのでそう遅くならないはずですうん、しー、thank it's alright. Um, it's nothing, really. Unable to hide my reddened eyes from her, I could only force a smile. I can't hold much back any longer. If she says any more kind words, I'm going to spill out everything inside me. Really, I'll be okay. I'll be fine by tomorrow. Well, I'll see you later. Yukiyomi is such a dummy. Of all the times to leave. I knew it wasn't Tenyo Island's fault, but I gave it a hard glare as I looked out across the sea. I somehow held back my tears. Since I was little, everyone here looked at me like I was some sort of strange creature. Sukuyomi didn't make himself clear. But it seemed to me that someone on the island used Batsu to take someone's life in the past. Maybe that's what everyone on the island thinks too, even if they don't say it outright. Which means my time at the plaza. Is it impossible for me, a white from Tenyo Island, to ever be loved? Riku... I knew deep down already, 
If it had been a mere stranger in the plaza who had said it, it wouldn't be so painful. It's because he said it. I know Akasa told me not to, but I feel like I could just swim out to the whirlpools now and drown myself. Of course I knew I couldn't do that. I needed to find a husband and somehow preserve the white bloodline. I don't want to look for a husband anymore. <sighs> Tears trickled down my cheeks. There was no one around, so it should be fine if I let myself cry here. I kicked the sand in frustration when... Oh. It's nothing. Nothing at all. I hurriedly took out my handkerchief to dry my eye tears. It really is nothing. Uso looked at me, then at the ocean. He smiled serenely. Uso's mulberry-colored eyes were kind. I could tell that he really cared about me. Come to think of it, Uso was talking to me before about Tenyo Island. In a frail attempt to ease my tension, I asked him. Someone told me... The woman of Tenyo Island killed someone. Have you heard about that before? Huh? He showed not the slightest hint of the deception. He looked at me with gentle eyes. Uso looked at Tenyo Island with nostalgia, then turned his sights back to me. I recall you telling me that you've been to Tenyo Island. I don't know what the Lunar Fairy is, but if you know anything about it or Tenyo Island, Please tell me. I saw a shy glimmer of light in his eyes. Did the Lunar Fairy come? さようでございます。満月の日、島の男の家の前に真っ白な花が置かれている。それを運んでくるのは真っ白な Wait, I know you're not lying to me, but there weren't any men on the island. So this time, Tenyo to wa otoko ga umarezu, kuras koto mo yuru sare nai. Desu ga, onna dake de wa koa nokose masen. Imi ga o wakari ka. Children. Tsukuyomi, can you tell me where I can find my papa? You mean Lady Amaterasu? So, Hino Megami Amateras. Dakara Otokoga Kokode Kuraso to Suruto Kanojoga Okote Wazawaiga Okir Omae no Chigimi Mo Kokoni no Kuru Koto Negataga. Did he die? I can't see him anymore. So, more I Or Papa. My mother saved my father when he washed up on shore, and she fell in love with him. My governess taught me how children were born the day I first had my min minarch. Ugh. So I just assumed that the women of the island simply found their mates by chance, like my mother did. 
Oh, you're. I felt as though I would break down in tears again. But it wasn't because of sorrow. It was from the joy of meeting someone connected to Tenyo Island. A person who was actually married to someone on the island. There was no one left there. Even if we weren't connected by blood, I felt I had finally found someone from my family. ですが、不思議なことに私は私の体を見て、ただ怯えるばかり、怯え、身を思ったものです。いえ。確かに夢か幻であったかもしれません。島の男は何も覚えていないと言います。ですから私も今まで人には明かしませんでした。なんという幸せな幻でございましょうか。私を he spoke lovingly, in a deep respect of her. Even now, he must still see his wife in his mind, smiling beautifully at him. You really did go to Tenyo Island. Uso and I both looked out at the island. An island that looked so close, yet was so far away. The Red Calamity. He said it was sad. Hearing Fuso say that was more than enough to console me. Deskara, Anata Samaga Hajiru Kotoa, Nani Mo Nai no des. Saigo no hak toste. Hokori o motte ikineba. I wiped at the tears from my eyes again, when suddenly... Huso <laughs> bowed in respect. Anata-sama オランピア様に繋まらない話をしてしまいました。どうかお許しください。どうも。孫娘のように思えてしまいまして、おかしなものです。子に恵まれなかったせいでしょうか。私などが白の経類とは恐れ多いですね。Familiar, familial bond, a strong connection shared among members of a family. Men who have children with the women of Tenyo Island sometimes retain a connection to the island even after departing. Um, I really do hope you would let me think of you as my grandfather. Uso's expression looked so forlorn that I couldn't help but exclaim my thoughts. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry if that was sudden. My parents passed away, and the only one I can call family is Sukuyomi. So I'd be very happy to have a grandfather in my life. When I read about them in books, I always felt sad to know I didn't have one. So... 
if you don't mind, I'd love it if you would consider it. Please don't say that. I'm just a normal girl, and I want to have a grandfather. I suddenly felt embarrassed, speaking to him as though as I was some entitled child. Well, I guess I'm not that normal, but I would be honored to be your granddaughter. He covered his face with his hands and began to shake. Oh. 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 Tsukiyomi quietly looked down on at Fuso. He wore his usual calm smile. Olambia his words filled my heart with so much love that I couldn't speak right away. Thank you. I'm sorry for worrying you, but I'm feeling much better now. もしかしたら、あの島に眠る妻が呼んだのかもしれませんな。では、私はそろそろお祈りいたします。どこぞで見かけましたら、またぜひ。Yes, I'm sure I'll see you again at the plaza. He walked away, turning around a number of times to bow when Tsukiyomi began to speak. Uso, grandfather shared a lot of things with me today. あらましを聞いたとは思うが、お前ももう十八。向こうを取る年になった。僕からも少し話しておこう。あの島には男が生まれない。故に白をつないでいくためには外から花婿を招くしかない。ただもちろん無理に夫婦の血切りを交わさせるわけではない。船はただ男を運ぶだけ。あの不相の魂の半身はその白の女であったのだ。だからこそ、あの男にはああして記憶が残ったのだよ。スキヨミ。do you know how happy I am now? I left that island when I was little, so I don't know much about the island or the people who lived there. But now, I have finally met another person, someone I can call my family. My mother said the same thing. She wants me to find my true love and live as happily as she did. The other half of my soul must be out there, somewhere. And she told me that she knew I'd do well, because I take after my father. My mother would scold me if she found out I was crying right now. I am. I'll go and apologize to Camellia first thing tomorrow. What a day. After the encounter on the beach, I went to Yomi and found a letter to deliver to the Red District. When I was finished, I went back to the manor. Daifuku, could it be that your grandfather delivered those flowers? Kiki, yes, that is our clan's duty. I'm sure you don't know what I'm saying. Kiki, I do know. I know exactly what you're saying. Uh. I said I was fine back then, but... Now that I was alone, I was beginning to remember what happened earlier this morning. My husband. I was sure it wasn't him. 
but thinking about it was making me feel even more depressed. I have another performance tonight, so I should start preparing. I need to focus. Focus. I returned to my room when... Olympia-sama. Oh shit, he's making a move. Uh, I'm いきなり訪ねてしまったこと。まず俺が投げつけた言葉の数々がもう消えない。お前の誇りを傷つけた。うん。許してくれなどと到底言えないが、詫びの気持ちだけは伝えたかった。本当に申し訳なかった。この聖の陸心より詫び申し上げる。すまな
<laughs> hey, do you want to be a candidate? Maybe, sir? Uh, and do you want to be a candidate? Huh? <laughs> huh? His reaction was much stronger than I expected, and I ended up exclaiming in surprise myself. <laughs> it wasn't really a joke. I'm very sorry. How could I possibly keep calm when the person in front of me wasn't calm himself? No, don't get your hopes up. He can't marry until he's 30 years old, and he'd probably choose someone who can bear children of the blue. There's no way he can be my husband. If you mean Kaina, we're not very close, but I do consider him a friend. I'm not causing you any trouble, though. It seems he wasn't convinced. Then again, he didn't seem to want to discuss it further, and took a sip of his tea. That's Ah, come to think of it, I haven't told you about it in detail. I just wanted to do what I could. I have been living in Doma's Manor for 13 years, ever since I arrived here from Tenyo Island. He didn't force me to stay inside, but I just kept to myself. But after coming out and walking among the people, I've discovered many new things. I've found good people living down in Yomi, the place where everyone says to stay away from. The Red Calamity in Doma's hand. Those incidents cast a dark shadow over me. But I want to keep my eyes forward instead of retreating back in fear. Even if I can't exactly meet his eyes now. I know I am a Olympia. As someone born on Tenyo Island, it is my duty to worship Lady Amaterasu and protect the sun. But it wasn't a decision I made myself. All I'm doing is fulfilling the role that was given to me upon birth. His body seemed to twitch. But that's not what I want. I wanted to do something that came from my own ideas, even if it was something small. It was then that I realized how fun it is to do things of my own accord. All the better if it's something that can bring about change, no matter how little. A change to this island. So I hope you will continue to allow me through Kunado. He frowned at me a bit, then turned his face away. You don't like that, do you? I assure you I won't. He gulped down the remaining tea in his cup, then stood up from his seat. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to have kept you so long. Thank you very much for coming today. Hey, he said something nice. He finally gave in. Um, wait, let me see you out to the gate. It's my way of showing thanks for your visit tonight. He really is serious about himself. It doesn't bother me anymore, so please don't let it bother you either. That's right. I need to dance tonight. But it would be a bit embarrassing to have another dancer watch me. I 
don't really want to ask him to come see me on stage. Oh, um, please do your best at work. Oh, um, I just wanted to say that. まあ、お前もいろいろ頑張れ。I will. では、今度こそ、今度こそ失礼する。今度こそ、今度こそ please let this man go. <laughs> Goodbye. I watched his back as he departed. The smell of the gardenias in bloom was strangely sweet tonight. Come to think of it, I wonder if Riku's ever seen me dance on stage before. Probably not. Mm, I don't know. I think he might get some inspiration from you, and you just don't quite know it. Two dancers. Isn't that... A young man was loading some bags onto a carriage near the wharf. It was Yogi, the man I met at the falls. I wonder if it's all right for me to talk to him. As I wondered what to do from afar, Yogi noticed me. He acknowledged me with a bow, so I sw slowly approached him to ask him a question. Is it all right for us to talk? Yogi quickly looked around. あなた様にお礼を言いたかったので、先日のこと黙っていてくださってどうもありがとうございます。he wasn't going to tell anyone anyway. Where to? Don't tell me. I see. I breathed a sigh of relief as I thought he was planning on testing his luck at the whirlpool beyond the ocean. My sense of relief quickly turned into sorrow. There were many small islands around Tengu Island. Most were inconvenient to live on. They were being used as farmland and fisheries. Oh. Is he referring to Kaina? I couldn't say anything. It would be useless to just offer empty words of encouragement or a wish for their happiness. Please stay alive for her. It was the most sincere thing I could think of. Yogi nodded firmly, as if to encourage himself. Understood. I know it'll be some time before we meet again, but I wish you the best of luck. I will pray for Lady Amaterasu's divine protection of you and Satsuki. <laughs> Let's meet again, Yogi. I gave him a small wave, and then went on my way. Hmm. Thank you. I hope you don't mind if I go through. I greeted him with a smile, but deep down, I was trying to see if another soldier was around. Maybe he isn't stationed here today. Or maybe he's at the blue, or perhaps the plaza? Not that I promised to meet him today. Um, I wanted to ask where Riku was, but I managed to refrain from doing so. Why do I want to see him? All I'll do is get in the way of his work. Nothing at all. Have a wonderful day. I went to check my letterbox in Yomi, but unfortunately it was empty. Thinking I might be able to find someone to talk to in the plaza, I returned to the surface. That's... Sitting on the bench at the plaza was Fuso. Hello there. 
Oh, yeah. May I sit next to you? Mochiron des tomo. So, so. Yube no maimo. Subarashi mono de stana. I'm glad you watched it. So no iro habanaga. It's mo yori utskushku. Natskashku mi emashta. Thank you very much for yesterday. I know I should have behaved myself, but I'm very happy to have a grandfather now. Jitsuwa kegata. Yashiki ni modori. Utatane o ste orimashtara. Tenyoto no yume o mimashta. Sumaga hamade. Ureshige ni teo futte iruno desu. Aww. That sounds lovely. Do you mind if I ask your wife's name? Sore ga jitsuwa. I'm sorry. It's all right. You don't have to remember. All I'm sure of is that she still loves you. That's why she came to visit you in your dreams. So deattara. Ureshi desu ne. Seeing him look embarrassed was making me blush in turn. It's so nice to see everlasting love like this. If only I could find love like that too. Thinking about him now. You're thinking about him. Why did he come to mine? He can't be my husband anyway. He can't marry until he's 30 years old, and he needs to find someone who can bear a blue child befitting of his position. I somehow held back a sigh. I didn't want Fuso to be worried about me. As I thought about how to change the subject, I saw a white sleeve flowing in the corner of my eye. Konnichiwa, Fuso. Hello? He's that person I met before. Jitsuwa, Oranpia-sama wa watakushi no mago musume de atta no desu. <笑>先生とも会ろう方がこんなお<笑> I'm sorry if I worried you before, but I'm doing fine now. Bye. After watching him walk away, I turned my attention back to Fuso. He's a doctor at the hospital, isn't he? Have you been having any trouble? Ah, yeah, yeah. Kino <laughs> gave a small smile and continued. Yeah, don't say that. I held my breath as I gazed at Fuso. そうしてまた白の者が増えれば、あなた様の寂しさも紛れましょう。あなた様のお子を抱くことができたら、私にとっては雲ごとなります。そのような日が訪れたら嬉しさのあまり。<笑> Uh, I'll do my best. Great 
grandchild. I've never thought about that before. But it's true that I won't be the last one once I have a child. Which means I need to find my soulmate as soon as possible. I don't think you need to rush that fast, but... Here I go again. This is no time to be thinking about him. He can't be my husband. As I finally let out the heavy sigh I'd been holding back. Oh, you look nice today. My heart jumped, seeing him suddenly appear in front of me. His attire. Good day. Are you off work by any chance? So that. I can see your ponytail more. I can see your hair better. He looks nervous. He looked terribly confused, refusing to look me directly in the eye. Um, is there a problem? Uh, yeah. He turned his head away and sighed with annoyance. Did I do something wrong? He was becoming more anxious when... I was surprised by the emotion that emerged inside me. Compliments were always nice to receive, but hearing praise from him made me so overjoyed that I felt I could dance right there and then. And he still came to see me dance? That's not true. As I moved closer to him, he retreated from me somewhat. I saw your dance, which is why I went to do better. Maybe do better isn't the right way to say it. It's not as though I wasn't trying to do my best before. But after understanding how things work on this island a little by little, I started to think of all the things I could do, all the ways I could make things better. So, so I wanted to thank you for reminding me of that. You danced wonderfully, wonderfully the other day. The expression on his face seemed to be disparaging of his own accomplishments. I could understand now what Akaza and Yosuga were saying about him. But what you're doing is something only you can do. Riku held his breath. I said all those things before when, when I didn't even know you were the dancer, but everything I said was the truth. It was so beautiful that I wanted to keep watching, and I was so glad to know there was another dancer on this island. As a dancer, I respect you from the bottom of my heart. So please don't dismiss what you do. <laughs> hey, hello, well, we we werewolf. How are you doing? a little bit. There. Riku went completely silent. It was so quiet I could hear a carriage run by. No. Mm. Hey, I was about to leap for joy. I internally congratula congratulated myself on my restraint. <laughs> really, are you sure? Yes, I did. But are you sure? Really sure? Yeah, 
できるだけ人目につかないところがいい。Hey, private dance learnings. Um, that's good. A bit tired. Yeah, I can understand that. The way I've been having to sit is kind of hurting my back a little bit. So. And I think I need to hydrate a little bit more. Secluded. I know just the place. No one ever goes there. Follow me. Are we going back to the beach? Oh, your cottage. Cool, cool. That makes sense. But I also feel like that is proceeding rather quickly. You guys are going on your first outing together and you're immediately taking him to your cottage. <laughs> It's my secret hideout. Well, sir, of course not. I'm the only one who ever comes here. And you're my first guest ever. Come in. He carefully looked around the room. Doma owns this cottage, so it's not as though I'm using it without permission. It was empty before, but I've decorated it little by little. Take a look. Yes, I am trying. It's uh, it's hard to make it a conscious thing to constantly do, but helping stream out our streaming has helped me try and get more into a habit of it. Just gotta. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forgot. But it's okay. I opened the window and pointed to the ocean. You can see Tenyo Island from here. Isn't it a nice view? Riku frowned, then bowed to me. You're bringing that up again? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I wasn't trying to blame you for anything. He sounded a little tense, but I could tell he wasn't lying or complimenting it for my sake. Yes, good lad. I may have noticed something that I shouldn't have. I sensed a darkness in the tone of his voice and the look in his eyes. He made it sound like he didn't make any decisions by himself before. There was no way I could ask him the question that came to mind. I've heard a lot of rumors about myself, but most of them are far from the truth. I won't blame anyone for it, but I want you to know who I really am. That wasn't my real name. I wanted to say that to him, but I couldn't. I told him that I want him to know the real me, but... I was so conscious about everything I said to him now that it was embarrassing. What am I expecting from him? I didn't know whether my heart was hot or cold. I tried to change the subject to keep my mind off those thoughts. Uh, I know it's strange for me to ask now, but are you sure you can teach me that dance? I was under the impression that the dance was only for the people of the blue. That reminds me, my governess. I wonder if I can use the dance to honor someone who passed away a while ago. She was the governess who took care of me. The people of the Ko and Otsu, along with those in Yomi, aren't given proper funerals. Would you mind if I danced for them to ease their souls? Yes, I am gaming, Arcs. What about it? I don't 
think my chat's working today, though. My chat display, which is wonderful. Yeah, I I am busy being a gamer. I'm busy talking to the Sundere, who's kind of opening up very slowly. Uh. Did I read this already? Would you mind if I danced for them to see to ease their souls? Really? As a dancer himself, his words brought me strength. Do I need food? That would be wonderful. A flatbed. A flatbread pizza? Yes, I will take a flatbread pizza. Yeah, werewolf, I noticed it not too long ago either. I'm not sure- Ooh, quick data. I'm not sure why the chat's not working today, but I did start out with technical difficulties anyway. I had to- I had to start and restart- restart- stop and restart the stream because my- my speaker- my headphones weren't outputting correctly, so I mean... I'd rather, uh... If I had to choose between that or chat not working, I, I would very much like to hear... voices. Um of Otome men instead. One pizza order, thank you, Arx. As a dancer himself, his words brought me strength. We buried those who passed away, you know? No, we did a, tr a traditional burying send-off. <laughs> There's a place on the island called Ikimizu Spring. We'd pour the water from there onto those who had passed away. We didn't transform them into show. So... Then we placed flowers on their graves and prayed for their souls. I was taught that the souls would then return and be reborn, reborn as women on the island. Don't worry, the customs of this island are strange and interesting to me too. Interesting his words warmed my heart. I could feel a kind of trust in him taking root inside me. Thank you for the pop cat. <laughs> the switch to a pop cat. I don't, you know, when is it YouTube's actually going to use GIF icons like Twitch does? Like, come on. Uh, sure. I wouldn't mind talking a bit longer. Talk with your dancing. Like this? Oh, from behind. Nice. <laughs> <gasps> Hmm? I'm sorry. Should I tie it up? Are you sure? Like this? So. A gentle caress. Riku's long, straight hair touched my cheek. Huh? This is no time to pay attention to this. It's rude to be distracted during his lesson. I told myself to focus on learning the rituals so I could honor my governess. But instead, I'm falling in love. <laughs> but it was difficult to focus when his body was so close to mine. Uh, I'm so sorry, Granny. I have hormones. I wanted to do something for her, though. But his presence right behind me made me nervous. He seemed to be slender and frail at first, but his shoulders against mine were wider than I thought. 
I should think about what I should do when I cleanse myself before the dance. Stay calm, clear my mind, make sure to abstinence and purify myself after this session because oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yes. Doing that is going to make me closer to you. I'll be close enough to feel your heat. There's no way I was going to be able to clear my mind like this. Calm down. Think about what it was like to see Riku's dance before. Uh, really? Thank you for your kind words. Although my embarrassment was troubling, it was exhilarating to dance with someone. He was definitely a skilled dancer. I could sense his brilliance and grace flowing through my body. I think I'm calm now. I should focus on Granny and... Ouch! <laughs> Something had tugged on me from behind. <laughs> Did it get caught in something? I'm sorry, let me tie it up and... Hmm? The next thing I knew, his fingers were in my hair. My body immediately tensed up. So much so that I jerked forward a bit. Not at all. I'm fine. Why couldn't I be a doll in this moment? A doll that could stand here without motion, that didn't breathe, think, or feel anything. Uh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't see his, his expression behind me, but I could tell he was being very careful and doing his best to untangle my hair. I'm actually happy about what's happening. I could feel my heart beating faster and stronger by the second. I was too afraid to even breathe. Hmm? I felt those cursed words, which had been etched in my mind, vanish in an instant. He didn't hate me as the others did. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I tried to turn around, but his hand gently stopped me. Did he just say comb? I'm not hearing things, am I? As I doubted my ears, I could feel him starting to comb my hair. Uh, huh? Riku is seriously combing my hair? I just stood there in disbelief of what was happening to me. Is this normal? Am I just blushing for no reason? My body grew tense again at the touch of his fingers and the comb running through my hair. Please finish this quickly. But please don't finish just yet. Yes. Sensing that he was satisfied with his work, I slowly turned toward him. Thank you very much. What a pretty comb. In his hand was a beautiful openwork comb carved with a row of flowers. This design, was it a gift from a woman? Before I had a chance to ask, he tucked it carefully away in his pocket. I can't believe that's bothering me now. Could it be... Well, even if that is true, it doesn't concern me. Feeling guilty about my thoughts, I forced out a smile. Why don't we take a break? Let me prepare us some tea. Oh no, it's nothing at all. As I hurried to the small sink, I suddenly realized. Uh, I only have one cup here. I didn't cook here. All I had was one cup, 
one drinking glass, and a dish for Daifuku to drink from. I never thought about inviting someone else here before. But I can't take back what I said, especially since he's my guest. Well, either share or stay dehydrated. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I sat down the cup of hot tea in front of Riku, and the drinking glass filled with the same in front of me. The steaming glass cup looked quite ridiculous. Ah, I see. <laughs> you took the middle road. Th that's not it. I just didn't have enough cup. Huh? Not at all, but now you're going to burn yourself. Before I could say anything else, Riku had already exchanged our drinks. Are you alright? He doesn't make it look hot at all, but... I'm so sorry. I nodded, then brought the other cup to my lips. He was worried about me. I suppose something good came from all of that. You think so too? I see. You may be right. I haven't been told much either. If Akaza doesn't know anything about it, no one else on the island would. Uh, I suppose so, yes. Well, I suppose you can say that. He explained a lot of things to me when I first stepped outside of the manor on my own. So, so, Absolutely not. Seeing him flustered was so cute. In any case, I can confirm that there is no way I would take him as my husband. I'm gonna say that every single route. Maybe even sometimes in his route, too. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out. He was at a loss for words. I didn't know if he was more concerned about me or Akaza. I suppose there's no need to keep it a secret. I explained as delicately as possible what Akaza told me the first day we spoke. <laughs> He's laughing. He seems to be enjoying himself. I knew he got along with Akaza, but they seem to be much closer than I thought. I had only ever seen Riku with a stern expression or e even a frown, but I've never seen him this happy before. Sensing the joy behind his smile was enough to bring a smile to my own face as well. I heard you were friends at Nintoku University. So, we learned together. They both said the same thing. It was fun learning from my teacher. But I was the only student in that room at the manor, so I didn't have anyone to be friends with. Maybe that's why I'm a bit envious of the relationship between Akaza and Riku. Riku? Akaza is a 
悩んでいた時も力強く励ましてくれた俺も彼のようであったらと何度思ったことか Was this another thing I shouldn't have noticed? I could sense a feeling of self contempt in Riku's voice and eyes. The blue was the envy of the island. What kind of problems could he have had? Osanai Koroa, Dokoma de Fukaku Mogrelka, Dokoma de Toku Oyogerka, Kisotari Mostanada. Oh, that's cute. You guys were rivals growing up. Also, um. Olympia, I have quite the feeling that you and Riku are very much alike in the fact that y'all have to do what you were told. So, Riku just probably isn't there yet. Well, so cute! I know. How about we go to the beach? I'm a pretty good swimmer myself. <laughs> He slowly set his glass onto the table, lowering his head. いや、女人と一緒にいるところを誰かに見られるとあ、oh, a small thorn pierced my heart that's right I heard about that I'm so sorry 聞いてる俺のことをどのように、uh, I quickly looked away from him I could believe how stupid I was to say that out loud 噂などもあるか I wouldn't call it a rumor, but I heard that you can't get married until you turn 30 years old. It was like gulping down bitter poison. I wasn't lying, but it felt so strange. Um, is Olympia still in the hunt to find a man? She is, but we we are in Riku's route. So she she's going to end up with Riku in this version. It's just a he's a Sundere, and she's kind of oblivious. <laughs> So it's gonna, it, I feel like it's gonna be a, a slow burn route right now. <laughs> We were speaking so casually just a moment ago, but now I felt as though I, as I couldn't even take a breath. So, you're a Why would you say that out loud? Oh my god! You just friend zoned me. You just friend zoned Biaki. <laughs> I know it was to keep intrusive thoughts out. Both of y'all are so similar. Good god. Akaza Sure, yes. I know I'm not gonna be able to do that. 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 With the lesson done for the day, I parted ways with Riku. He needed to return to the Blue District. I came to Yomi to check if I had any letters to deliver, and. I was also here because. Are you gonna cry about it to a. Uh... Camellia, what does it mean to be a friend? <laughs> A person of trust. Aww. Of course, you're my dear friends, Camellia. I also came because I wanted to talk to Camellia. Friend. There it is. Thanks, Yosuga. <laughs> Yosuga was suddenly standing next to me. Oh, <laughs> he called him out. <laughs> Ooh. 
I crumpled onto the table. Whoa. Oh, you have no idea. No, no, not at all. I should be going. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know who would be. もしかしてこの間泣いていたのもそれなら少し意味が違ってくる僕としたことが気づかなかった今度謝ろうあ、you <笑> I was having a difficult time walking. I wasn't even sure where I was headed. It's no use feeling so sad and depressed. Riku can't become my husband, so he was right when he said we're just friends. I knew that, but remembering the sight of his face as he held the steaming glass brought tears to my eyes. He also had that comb with him. Ah, kinda. Kinda. I wasn't sure what kind of expression to put on. もうあなたの手を煩わせません。この度はご迷惑をおかけしました。どうしたの？あ、もしかしてあれか？手紙の件は気にしないで。Kinda laughed to try and cheer me up. 確かに。弟には無理なことを頼んでしまったと思ってるんだ君のおかげで弟と連絡を取れたわけだしそこは本当に感謝してるんだよ少し前にもオツの女が王の男と通じて処刑されましたアイナ was in love I imagine he was deeply in love with her I wish that I could ask him my question. A question about what it meant to love. I think Satsuki and Yogi will be fine, but that doesn't solve the source of the problem. For all I know, there may be others out there who are suffering just like them. もう少し日を置いて手紙を書いてみるまた届けてくれるかな。Of course, I'm here anytime you need me。応援してる。なんて嬉しいけど軍人に聞かれないようにね。Uh, <笑> that's right. I like Kaino a lot. He is good side character. The sun was just about to set as I left Kunado. Not feeling like taking a carriage back, I decided to take a stroll along the beach. Yo, hey. uh. Oh, he did cause some confusion with Riku. I don't think she's very happy at Kurobo right now. Or she's distracted as fuck. Kuroba, you're a doctor, right? Can you tell me more about how intercourse works? <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way. I just thought I should know more about it so it would help me with my search for a husband. <laughs> the odds? Okay. Okay, math is fine. How it actually works. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ugh. Okay, let me calm down for a second. Let me take some water here. Jesus. Swear to God, if I ever have to play an Otome where the protagonist legitimately has to, like, be told how to have intercourse, I am done reading. But, whew, she's not. Okay. I think we're, uh, I think we missed that bullet, though. That was close. 
That was very sudden. Yeah, it was. We're all like, <laughs> what the hell? I thought she was just mad or distracted because Riku, uh, like, kind of, like, yelled at her earlier, um, based off of rumors, because Kuroba, like, literally told Riku to leave Yomi because, uh, uh, and that, like, that Kuroba would, like, protect, uh, Olympia as her level lover, but he's making a joke, but obviously Riku didn't catch that as a joke, so I thought maybe the first time she would run back into him, she would be upset at him. No, I wasn't expecting her to be like, Hey, you're a doctor. What are, what are the odds of having certain children? <laughs> okay, let's start with the basics, anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, those odds don't seem very good. Well then, how about if a blue marries another blue and had a baby? どう食同士は濁りのない優秀な子が生まれるとされているか。自然率が高い。うん。オッケー。性が特にその傾向が強い。あそこは罰の力星さに、かなり近しい位置で後輩相手を決める。Blending. Okay. Parents' color traits affect the color trait imparted to the child. This is not a guaranteed process, and color traits remain unknown until after the child is born. You're just taking a shot in the dark. Which means Riku will probably need to make a similar choice. ゲンシキの石、性、王が最も白を発症し。Really? What? Anarchy。Kuroba was of the black class, but he was still deputy director of the Kotawari. That was proof enough of his talent, yet he still had to live through all this. I think that's all I wanted to know today. Thank you very much. Take care. After Kuroba left, I hopped into a nearby fiacre to go home. Things don't always go as planned. I was looking through the bookshelves after dinner. I doubt I can find the answer I'm looking for in a book, but... Oh, hi, Doma. I ignored his presence and opened the book in my hand. That was the sum of our interactions. We rarely ever spoke in the manner, and I was never reprimanded for my behavior. 
Uh, which is why his sudden query made me drop my book. I'm taking it one step at a time. It's a serious matter, after all. I'm surprised you're actually concerned. Um, okay. I didn't really understand what he was trying to tell me, so I paused for a moment to ponder over it. Is he saying that he'd kill such a person? I suppose a human life is only worth so much to you. He never changed his expression, no matter what I said. His beastly gold eyes were cold, with no hint of joy or happiness. Which is why I couldn't hold back my irritation. Have you ever thought about the executions done to the Haku's Hazushi? Answer the question. Oh, really? シュラ Elder Sister Shura and the other leaders. I leaned against the bookshelf, feeling my strength leave me. Doma simply looked at me and walked away. Okay, bye. Elder, sis Elder Sister Shura, the leader of the blue, is against the, its abolishment. I suppose it's to preserve her color class. I couldn't say I blamed her. In the eyes of those on this island, she was acting in accordance with the law. Which was why despair began to slowly gnaw away at me. Am I being foolish in trying to change things? Girl, you are not. Literally, just just break the system, break it. Um, yes, I think since we're going into Riku's route, we're going to figure out why uh, Shura is the way she is and stuff. Um, however, the other routes are, are, um, non-primary colors, aside from Akuza of the red, but he is the final route, and usually that means all of this shit's gonna be wrapped up in everything in his, so I think we've got a long way to go before we actually figure out why the primary colors are the way that they are. I slowly touched my hair, but it didn't feel the same as when he did it. We're friends. That was supposed to be a wonderful thing. But I just felt a heavy pain deep in my chest. We're in the friend zone. Mm. Orampia Sama. Yes. Big we'd have to big brain near the end of the uh, stuff. That's why I'm like, mm, if they're revealing like a primary like color as like the first route. I really wonder what the other hidden stuff is as we get closer to the red and the final route for Akaza. Ak Akaza. Um, I think I'm gonna call it here. It's been a pretty decently long stream. Plus, I think, let me check here. I think we're already halfway through this route now that I think about it. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Yeah, we have seven more chapters. Um, and we went through... Two, three, four, six. So we are just under halfway through. Yeah, let's leave... <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it with us getting friend zoned. I think that's a good place to stop for now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make it save just in case, but I I'm pretty sure I can just uh just pick a uh pick from the start of the chapter again for next time. But uh thank you for joining me. Um, I hope to see you next time. I'm going to stream tomorrow twice, actually, for Genshin and, and uh, Obey Me. So, um, I, I probably won't be able to get to this until next Saturday again, um, as per usual. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm going to have any streams before next Saturday because I have to do mandatory overtime at work. Boo! Boo. I'll probably be extra tired, but, um, either way, take care of yourselves until next time, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for joining me, werewolf. It was good to chat with you. Um, so, bye bye Stay safe.